Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> I've been super bored lately. I mean, not so bored, but like sometimes I just don't know what to do with my life. Hey guys. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Too ratchet, too ratchet. Let me just kind of <laughs> act like I woke up like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again. <laughs> I feel like I am completely on a roll posting and all of this. The whole getting back into like YouTube and like editing. Maravilla, maravilloso. As you read by today's title, I am going to be getting ready to stay at home. Yeah, at home. <laughs> so I have all my supplies. I do have some limited Supplies, limited brushes. I honestly haven't even checked if I brought a sponge, but hopefully I brought a sponge because I want to get like a full glam. I'm gonna do my hair. I have my coffee with me. You know, the whipped cream and everything. This is a caramel macchiato that I got this time. Mm. And I ended up repainting my nails because they were already chipping. So I'm already off to a great start with this video. So anyways, let's just get right into it. So I'm wearing my pajamas already. <laughs> that is a bad start. So let's go ahead and change the shirt. All right guys, so we're starting this video with our eyebrows because that is literally the first thing that I do when I do my makeup. These puppies don't look as bad, but they need a little work. So I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Ebony. I did already prep my skin and I kinda didn't wanna show it again on camera because I feel like I've already shown my skincare twice or way too many times on here. So I'm pretty sure you guys get the point, you know, use sunscreen, moisturizer, little spot treatment to help with your acne. All right, so my eyebrows are finished and you guys already know the next thing that I like to do that I have been trying is using this gray lash Maybelline. This is the transparent. Technically, these are for your eyelashes, but you can also use it as a brow gel. I wouldn't want to say like it's great because I don't really see much of a difference, but I do feel good wearing it. I do feel like it does, um, leave some of my hair in place so i ended up classes and i passed my semester that is a freaking fantastic we're carving out our brows next and usually for my brows i have been a fanatic of tart shape literally the concealer is my holy grail my go-to and i never use anything else before besides tart and the i think it's the elf hydrating um, concealer as well. I'm just gonna take the brush and kind of just get some product. Well, this is the tricky part because I have bangs now, so they could be moving like every freaking wear legit. All right, so I'm gonna go finish up the other brow because it's gonna take a little too long and I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna just make a little whatever that is right there and I usually end up bringing my concealer down to like this area and I drag it down to like the nose of my bridge as well. <sighs> I've been super bored lately. I mean, not so bored, but like sometimes I just don't know what to do with my life. Before you want to set in anything, make sure that you have all your creases are blended out. Like no creases because sometimes your eyes just crease. I'm just going to set my eye. So we're just going to fluff, 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 fluff. So I'm just going to take some a natural, which is like this shade right here. I'm just going to tap out and we're going to add it all over our lids this is like our first shade just to give us some color back into our lids we are going to take this uppy shade we're just gonna pack it on real good into our brush we're gonna tap 
out some of the excess, excess, axis, excess, excess. I don't know. And we're just gonna use this all over our lids because we just wanna look that freaking magical. I think the key here is just to blend out. If you know how to blend, it'll make things easier for you. And if you don't know how to blend, just keep going like this. Okay, blending is what it's all about. Just blend it away. We're gonna end up taking this mauve shade right here, right? And we're just gonna pack it into our outer corners. We're just gonna make like, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out actually, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Kinda wanna create like a little liner with this type of thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see what I'm doing or no, or no. We're gonna go in with that mauve shade. We're gonna start blending out more into our outer corners. This is we're gonna go more gently in it because we kind of wanna be careful with blending out. I think I went a little too high up, but that's fine because we're just gonna end up blending it. I'm gonna take spark, spark right here. Gonna, so beautiful. And I'm just gonna play around with it. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and we'll get back to you. I ended up tearing up a little bit because I ended up booking up my eye again. I was such a fanatic about eyeliner back then. I don't really wear eyeliner anymore like that. Only unless I do like some extra oh, I kind of just messed up. Unless I do like some extravagant makeup looks. I want to show you guys the things that I use to put on my lashes. We're going to do these lashes. I'm going to go a little bit dramatic today because I just want to be dramatic for the day, okay? Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Close <gasps> the day I want to show you guys look at how it comes out <sighs> how the hell am I going to fix that <laughs> see no need to fear Marilyn is here what Marilyn shut up this is the elf poreless putty primer I saw this on tiktok roaming a few months back I, I don't know how long it's been so i decided to go and head and try it and let me just tell you guys i am literally fascinated with this poreless putty primer i don't really know if primers really do anything i'll be honest with you the foundation that i go in with is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Foundation. This is dewy and smooth. This is in shade Toffee. This is 330. I like applying my foundation on a sponge and spreading it like that. I'm just gonna take uh, this big brush, the only one that I have here with me. I'm just gonna spread out this foundation everywhere on my face because that's what you're supposed to do. If you are wondering, why I didn't carve out my brows on the top. I'm gonna show you guys why. I have done this for so long and it works like magic. I always carve myself, my my brows underneath with my concealer. And then on the top, I go in with my foundation. So I'm just gonna take my foundation, carve out the top of my brows, spread it out and start blending it with my the rest of my foundation the trick is to go back in with a sponge because sometimes the brush does leave like some streaks and some like lines and you don't want that because you want to be looking like a bad bleep i usually don't care if like my foundation doesn't go up here because i am going to be applying um concealer this part right here and the outer corners up here here. I like making this look very, very snatched. I like using my product. So, kind of want to try this one out because I see people putting concealer on here. I'm going to be using the one that I carved out my brows. And I am going to be taking some of that product and just kind of. 
I'm bringing it up. I usually do it on here, even if I didn't put concealer, just because on here I tend to crease a lot. Usually on here, I always end up pressing like a powder to my skin. I'm gonna brush this the way like I brush all the negativity away from me too. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> this honestly i have my coffee right there and i feel like i'm just putting all my powders in there and i'm just drinking it away <laughs> i don't really have my contouring stick today so we're just gonna go ahead and bronze up this bad boy and we're gonna start a little higher today and we're just gonna bring it down but also like push it up so i like to bring it up onto like my forehead areas and then my temple area i like to bring the bronzer and like the jawline area over my jaw it's supposed to exist but it doesn't i'm just gonna take the sponge and kind of carve out this i'm gonna take my elf palette i always use this one and i always end up using this shade and this shade on tiktok it showed that to lift your face and that is so true so just kind of make sure that you kind of bring it everywhere kind of do my nose a little bit not too much and then what i like doing is just giving some color to my chin because i just feel like it really does tie everything together give some to your forehead as well not too much, you're kind of just swiping it through your forehead. But these areas, I really do love giving that, like, touch. So the next thing is we're going to go in with our Morphe palette again. We're going to just take that mauve shade, which is like that dark brown that we used on our outer corners. And we're going to give color to our lower lash line because you need to kind of spice it up and like give color back to your eye. I'm going to take my last Sensational by Maybelline and I'm just going to apply some mascara on the lower lashes. We are going to go in with this Super Stay by Maybelline. It is in the shade. Where the f it's I don't know where the shade is. Okay, that color makes me look like a clown with this like I like to do this. Clean up just the top. So now let's go ahead and do out wear hair I'm just gonna take a bunch of our hair I'm gonna give it some texture we're gonna actually do the whole hair this time so okay guys I think we're done all right guys so that is pretty much it we are done with this look i look good i look great probably just gonna go back in and pop into my pajamas again i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me so let me <gasps> wow i look very studious is that even a word i don't know mm. oops i got some lipstick on here Make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a comment below, make sure to like this video. And yes, a lot of you guys watch my video, you guys don't even like it. Like, do you guys not like watching it or you guys just forget to? Or you don't have an account? So, I hope you guys enjoyed a like I said <laughs> 10 times already. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Space, space, space.